Okay, we're out here at Chantilly uh, Farm, Chantilly Festival Farm. We got Billy over here digging some tests, uh, arguing some test holes for a septic site. And we're uh, looking at putting in um, a little shower house for a small uh, camp area here on the farm. And uh, David is a soil engineer, David Hall soil here. Scientist. Soil scientist, sorry, <laughs> soil scientist. Yeah, we've got to get this right. Uh, David, tell us a little bit about the procedure for, for setting up a septic field and so forth. And I know you do some testing and I don't know what all goes involved. Well, the first thing we do is come out and meet with the client to determine what their needs for their particular project might be. And then we select a site for the uh, septic field that's suitable, first of all, topographically. Like this site here, it's a nice rolling site. And then we're out of this drainage way that's adjacent to us or, where we might be collecting some stormwater and stuff. So then we're, once we've selected a good site that looks good topographically, then we do some test borings like Billy's doing right there. And we're going to evaluate the soil, uh, the depth of it, the texture of it, and just the composition of the soil and evaluate the things that make it either good or bad for uh, a septic field, for, basically for the drainage. Right. And once you get your testing done, <clears throat> then um, as far as the uh, landowner, what, what is our steps? We have to get a permit and so forth. What, once right. you do the testing, what, what follows up on that? We'll provide the landowner with a, a report, and um, usually in the form of an application to a, apply for a, a septic permit to, to actually install the field. Uh, it'll be several pages that all they'll have to do is look through and make sure it's all correct mm -hmm. as far as uh, what they're expecting for their project and sign it and submit it to the health department where they'll receive their permit to install the field. And does a field have to be surveyed in all the time? or Not all the time. Yeah. Uh, for an individual uh, project like this where we're just doing one field, generally we will just prepare a construction drawing. I see. Uh, based on the conditions in the field and they won't necessarily need to be surveyed. Okay, well that's good. And, and then the landowner would have to, after it's all approved and everything, get a, get a permit, I assume, to put the field in. Right. The part of what the paperwork we get will be an application to apply for a permit. And they would uh, submit that to the local health department where they will receive their permit and then they'll be ready to install it. Uh, mm -hmm. Selected contractor who would install it. Most in most cases. Mm -hmm. And then when it is installed, then we will come back and inspect it to make sure that it was installed mm -hmm. correctly. Right. Now, we, one question we get from a lot of people, can you do um, composting in Floyd County, composting toilets, that sort of thing? We get a lot of people want to come and do kind of just primitive living and so forth. Is that possible in this county? It is possible. There are several different kind of uh, options for... Uh, for, for Composters, in, in, they have incinerator toilets where they, uh, generally that's going to be dry type of uh, uh, methods of disposal where, you know, you don't have a water supply to the house to mm -hmm. carry the uh, load. Mm -hmm. So basically people have to check with the health department and see what they can do, but there are other right. options there for, other for options. some homeowners. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, in terms of the testing out here, tell me just a little bit about the testing and the arguing. What, what there you, ha you have to do three, three good sites, good test borings, and so yeah, forth. Yeah, we have to, I mean, generally you have to have a minimum of three of test uh, borings that we make. But we're looking, you know, just not at the hole that we're digging. I mean, oh, we're, sure. We're uh, evaluating and delineating a, an area uh, where we feel like it's going to be suitable to treat and dispose of the effluent that's produced. And we're just using the test holes to characterize this whole area. I see. Okay. Uh, and um, now your, your private enterprise, can people use the health department or most everybody hires a soil scientist? Probably they a lot. can use the health department. And uh, my, a lot of, for uh, individual homeowners building a home that's a lot of times the most cost-effective 
method currently available for them to obtain a permit. But there are certain situations where they would definitely be uh, better off to hire a private right, I was scientist gonna, or right, consultant I was gonna, to... I was going to ask you that question. I assume a lot of times it's just quicker and better to just hire a, a soil scientist. Sometimes it's quicker and sometimes it's better. And sometimes the site's conditions are such that it may take a more experienced, mm -hmm. uh, somebody with a wider range of experience to determine the suitability of a site. Mm -hmm. And do you go out and do uh, just general consulting if somebody says, hey, I'm thinking you don't actually go out and do the site, but if somebody calls up with some questions, you, do you have a way of uh, going out and talking with people and giving them a little advice for, you know, some fee, I assume you'd charge them some for coming out, but just, just Sure, we general. do a lot of uh, preliminary, we do preliminary type evaluations where somebody's looking at maybe purchasing a piece of property or if they have property and they're wanting to know if a certain use is suitable for their property and they're, but they're not ready to obtain a permit, we'll do a preliminary evaluation to uh, determine what their capabilities are uh, for their for their site. Right, you've actually done that for us on a number of yeah, occasions. We do that a lot. Yeah. Especially, <laughs> Especially if somebody's okay. going to buy a piece of property, you want to know that it'll perk. Right, right. Yeah. For, that's going to say property transfers. That's a, a big thing. People say, well, I'm going to buy this land. I'm not going to build for five or six years. And I just want to know if it's okay. Yeah. We do a lot of that. Okay, well, we'll go over and take a look at Billy drilling some holes or boring some holes in the ground. Anything else you can think of that might help a potential uh, user of your services that you might want to comment on? Um, you do commercial systems, all kinds, all kinds sure, of affluent anything, systems, right? Any kind of uh, soil-based disposal type of system, we are involved in evaluating and permitting those type of systems. Okay. Uh, the only other thing I would say is make sure if somebody interested in obtaining that kind of service that they get a, a qualified uh, well, you're licensed. I was going to say this person. is this is not just a bootleg operation. You you have to have a be certified and licensed and so forth. Yeah, certified to, yeah. To, 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 to. yeah. That's very important, of course.